Oh, yeah. And what is up everyone, it's your boy Fry the producer and today we're going to be looking at how to use this EQ within FL Studio. No, I don't think it will be possible but what I have done is I've pretty much emulated all of these presets so I'll start off by showing you. I quite like Pro Tools because their presets are pretty decent, quite nice just like FL Studio. And I mean, I was doing a session in Pro Tools and I was like, okay, well, these two EQs are pretty much like identical, you know, to be quite nice. What I quite like about this EQ is that it's got a separate high pass and low pass filter, whereby in FL Studio, you actually have to dedicate two of your, your bands towards high passing and low passing. So yeah, I'll pretty much run you through some of the presets. There are so many, damn it. There are so many cool presets within this, um, plugin i mean if you're doing acoustic you got all those all those all those all those i will link the zip folder with the presets and just feel free to comment if you don't know how to add presets into fl studio and pretty much within fl it looks like this so as you can see let me just make some space here there we go yeah so you've got exactly the same i've, I've copied every single preset to as close as I can and I'll talk about firstly the coolest ones I quite like so for example there's a speaker called the Aerotone speaker which is used for mixing and Pro Tools are pretty much sorry for the dropouts and the preset loads or as usual always <laughs> but yeah there's a cool little speaker if you don't know about it called the Aerotone where uh, Kendrick Lamar's engineer uses it it's a little kind of square box speaker you'll find usually in the middle of the two stereo speakers and Pro Tools pretty much emulated it in a way. I mean, it's obviously not going to be perfect, but if I turn it on, it'll sound like this. And you can run your mix through here while you're mixing just to kind of hear if your vocal will sound good on a cell phone or something like that. And as you can see, we got all sorts of cool presets. So inside the club and that kind of to me in my headphones sounds like what if I was listening to someone speaking on a microphone, this is kind of what the, the club would sound like. So you can use these special effects to But yeah, pretty much I'm sure you're here for the vocal stuff, so I'll start off by showing you. And first off, before I even go to the vocal stuff, you can use any of these presets for whatever you want, you know what I mean? For example, I mean, like, that is pretty much the same as add air here. They're just slightly different frequencies. <clears throat> that was one thing I picked up from Pro Tools is that a lot of their presets are kind of the same. You know, brighten symbols. Uh, if I click here, brighten symbols drum overheads was it yeah you can see i've kind of emulated it as good as i can so we've got a two 10k boost of three decibels 10k i can't really get to 10k fl studio doesn't really allow you to get to the most precise frequency unless i probably typed it in but when i type it in it looks like that so pretty weird but yeah i mean i'll run you through some of these presets the vocal ones this is sounding pretty cool i'm sure it's going to be too bright and you'd get quite tired of that, but that sounds pretty cool for starters. Vocals, you have all, I've added on some of the, some of my own remixes of, because for example, you've got Solidify vocal, right? So it sounds like that. And then I've added my own kind of version as well for I Solidify vocals. You know, just adding a few passes here and there. And yeah, that's, uh, I don't know what else to really talk about it. It's a pretty simple, straightforward project that I did for fun and yeah you guys in the comments uh, shout out to all the new subscribers uh, feel free to comment whatever you guys want to see guys and girls if there's any types of presets you want any types of vocal mixing I'll try and get a session up this week and we can do some more uh, I did quite a cool mix I'm just trying to get permission from the artist to show you and yeah that's pretty much all I don't have too much else to say Here's Pro Tools over here, even though it might just lag. This is Pro Tools. This is just some random beat that I'd loaded up. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Have a good weekend. Link in the description for these presets. Feel free to donate to buy me a cup of coffee if you appreciate these presets. I did take like a day of my free time to do this, so it did take quite a while, but 
I think it'll be pretty cool while I'm mixing because a lot of the time I like to start off with some presets, you know, especially when mixing vocals, just to get kind of a nice starting point. It's really nice to have lots of presets. They're all nicely organized. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Like and subscribe. If you have not subscribed, like, drop a like, comment, whatever you guys want to see. And yeah, I'm out. Peace. One thing I forgot to mention, definitely get these books. If you're into recording, if you're into producing, there's one for mixing as well. Zen in the Art of Mixing, which I have not got by Eric. Eric Suffering. Suffering is his name, I think. Awesome dude, man. You know, he is a uh, mixing engineer. It's not a paid video or anything. I just really respect his work. Funny book, serious book. I just started this. Feels like I am at a college, man. These are cheap. These are like probably $30 each. I mean, 25 US dollars. I probably paid a bit more because I'm in a different country. But yeah, this is funny. This is a book about um, him basically being paid a large amount of money to teach this Indian kind of prince to become a producer. Really interesting story. Get it. It is cool. Anyway, yeah.